Here in the Northeast, we need to do our part for supplying our own electricity. I mean, we're a high demand area, densely populated. The new wind is the first of its kind. We're actually uh, setting world records and it's only gonna get bigger. This is a whole new era for generating electricity in the United States. It's just learning every single day and I'm happy for the opportunity. So you really don't know how large the windmills are. You gotta pretty much pitch a three football field just spinning around. The first time I was on a turbine, when you look straight down, it definitely sends a, a few chills through you. You could power 400,000 houses with one wind farm, you know, that's pretty, pretty impressive. This is good for the environment, for the people of the Cape. There's a lot of different moving parts and it feels good to work on a project of this magnitude, you know. This is the substation and basically power when it comes in from the turbines, offshore, underground, here to the substation and inevitably provide the power to the homes. I'm very, very fortunate to be involved in this project. It's pretty special to work with a group of people that have one goal in mind and uh, made me kind of rejuvenated, you know, to end my career doing uh, these kind of projects right in my hometown. I want to thank Vineyard Wind for continuing to fulfill its promises. We've been big on offshore wind because we're big on New Bedford, we're big on opportunity. We want to be the leader in fishing in offshore wind in the United States. We want to be the place when it comes to the blue economy, New Bedford is seen as a leader. I think it's very important that we get out there and remind everyone about the good opportunities that we give. So a big event like this where you see local suppliers, unions, our team explaining about this fantastic industry really helps more people to understand the opportunities. For this event only, we're looking at hiring 200 people. I have people coming to my class from New Bedford who don't know what a wind turbine is. If there's a multi-billion dollar project going on in your neighborhood, you should at least have an opportunity to explore the career opportunities that are there. So Vineyard Wind signed the PLA with the unions and as part of that PLA, they committed $500,000 to pre-apprenticeship programs like Building Pathways South. Over the next five years, there are going to be a lot of retirees and we need to give those retirees apprentices so that we can continue to build America. I'm trying to find a job. It's renewable energy, it's clean, it's exciting. The city should be booming with all this. The Center for Responsible Energy conducts professional development training. This particular class is uh, from the Iron Workers Union and they'll be involved in the construction of the offshore wind turbines. Uh, we're training for sea survival to go out and uh, work on the wind turbines. I'm a kind of person that likes to try different things. Obviously we work on big buildings out in Boston so doing something different out in the sea uh, was very interesting to me. I am a fourth year apprentice. We basically assist our journeymen who are the licensed electricians to have a college degree, but then it also comes with student loans. And a lot of these entry level jobs are not paying as well. So I wanted to find a way to earn more money. I was hearing about there's a shortage in construction workers because I didn't want to get my master's and pay another $60,000. And so the construction trade, they teach you a trade basically for free. I just bought my books, earn money as I learn. Our program is four years of classroom instruction, 8,000 hours, and I can go get my license. It's actually an amazing site to work on because the journeymen here, they're willing to teach you because electrical is really intricate because they're a task where I feel that seem impossible. But when I see these journeymen do it and then I end up doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can do it.
Me as a laborer, I uh, from day to day, it changes. All types of uh, preparation for the wires to come off from the wind turbines that are gonna be coming offshore onto the mainland. So that's what you see behind me right now. I have a really good job. I'm a single mother, two kids, and it was, it was a win-win. So I went from The Apprentice, and then I slowly worked my way up. I finished all my classroom hours, my work hours. It was the best move that I could have made for myself. I was really interested in offshore electrical. It's good electricity, and it's actually, it's actually doing something for the environment. Let's face it, everybody wants less pollution. I mean, the scale of the work that they're talking about, that's a lot of energy. What it's good is the wind farms are using local knowledge. It is kind of nice that you're using these boats. Fishing is boom or bust. So you never know what you're gonna catch. You never know what the regulations are gonna be. I mean, one week you make a lot of money, the next week you don't make that much. So if you have a steady, avenue to May another 100 days a year with the wind farms and then you can put it all together you have a you know you have an all right year survey site all concerned traffic 16 and 13. the cable laying was interesting work they send us out to look for gear fixed fishing gear and buoys so that they don't get tangled up in them and then we will do some radio communication work to make sure that there was a buffer zone of a mile around the, the ships I'm an entry-level offshore wind farm technician. We are part of the team that, that uh, is in charge of the operation and maintenance of the turbines. But I know that there will be a marina right where I'm standing, um, and that's where the boats will be. You know, hundreds of jobs coming to these communities, and it's long-term, you know, you're, you're basically, you could work for 20, 25 years. There's a lot of room for advancement. They organized some classes with a college off island for us to, to study as a wind farm technician. Um, it was a two-year certificate. I was able to, to study everything here on the island while working. I feel like I've lived on Martha's Vineyard my whole life, but uh, I, I was born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts. My dad and his mother were both born and raised on the island. I've had that taste of city, city life, but uh, I always kept coming back here. Now I live here. There are year-round jobs on the island, but most of them, are, I'd say, are seasonal. So to have something stable like this is huge. We have to start saving our planet. Wind energy is one of the ways in which we can do it. The work's here, and the work stays constant. We always know there's gonna be a lot of wind. We won't run out. You could have a long-term career laid out in front of you. 10, 15, 20 years from now, that you'll be able to like, hey, I did that, I worked on that, and that makes you feel good.